Hey guys, it's your boy Luis Torres, and today I'm actually just going to show you how easy it is to basically take apart a pickup and see what's inside, how you can mess around with it, and in the meantime, we're actually going to listen to a band called Demise that were based out in Queens slash Brooklyn. Uh, my best friend Jonathan, who's actually the singer of a band called The Craze, he was the drummer of Demise. Uh, if you listen to Madball, then you already know who Hoya is, who's the bassist of Madball. He was actually the bassist of Demise. Uh, and if you listen to bands like 25 to Life, then you know the guitarist Rob, uh, who's also called Beto. Uh, he was the guitarist of Demise also. So let's go here. Literally just a flathead. This is actually a DiMarzio. Uh, X2N pickup, which is their highest output pickup. Okay, so I unscrewed the back, and now this should come apart. You just have to be careful with the wire. Then you have the Alnico 5 magnet right in the center. So here's the base plate, and it's actually soldered over on the corner. You can see that right there. So you just have to be careful. And of course, every humbucker is literally two single coils. And then it screws in just right from the bottom. I actually need to fix this pickup, so. This is an old pickup. <laughs> wow. Just all the rust areas that are here.
I'm gonna have to hit it with a Dremel. Definitely needs a little more TLC. So I literally have to hit this with a Dremel tool, but at least you get to see if you've never taken a humbucker apart. I definitely need to get uh, the, the actual cloth tape that comes over the wind itself. That's it. And then these cables, this extra wiring that's here on the side, you literally just take it, you tuck it in, and then from tucking it in, you then use a wider tape and you tape them all together. So if you notice, I mean, you literally can, oh, I just screwed them in. Um, But don't be afraid to take one of your pickups that you don't really use and just learn. You know, that's really the only way. All right, guys. I may have to get, with this pickup, I'm going to end up having to get new rails, uh, I, I may just end up just hitting the whole thing with a Dremel. I'll have to get a new wiring, a new cable for this thing. But I mean, this is literally one of their highest output pickups, if not the greatest output pickup DiMarzio makes. And this thing is bust, but we'll go ahead and get this thing back up and running again. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best, and as usual, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon.